guys, it's Sarah from All Coin Bust Ladies. And before I get on to any sort of news and what we're gonna talk about today, I wanna wish you all and every single one of the followers and subscribers to All Coin Bust Ladies and All Coin Sarah, my own account, Merry Christmas. I hope you're gonna spend this time with your family and you're not gonna be looking at the charts or the coin market cap all the time and actually enjoy the time because that's what it is about. And I think Coinbase has been in the same spirit as I have. As a few weeks back, Coinbase launched a holiday induced program dubbed the 12 Days of Crypto, you know, and evident not to the age old Christmas song, the 12 Days of Christmas. And as revealed on a section of Coinbase's webpage, the startup told users to check back each day at noon PST from December 10th to the 21st as the San Francisco headquartered firm was aiming to announce new features, support for new currencies and more. In a blog post posted by Verity Coltman, part of the company's business development team, it was explained that this multi-day event was the culmination of Coinbase's development efforts in 2018. And the way I decided to do it is put the announcements into sort of like three groups. The good, the bad, and the um, meh, meh, meh ones. So we'll start obviously with the good ones because I'm a positive person. So on the day one, Coinbase announced a partnership with WeGift. And the first they basically started with a bang with the startup announcing a partnership with digital gift card provider WeGift, which basically allowed customers in the US, UK, and EU to cash out their Coinbase balances through gift cards like Adidas, Uber, Nike, etc. On the day 2, 6, and 12, basically, it was all about the crypto donations. Multiple days throughout this initiative, so the startup announced that it would be donating cryptocurrencies to those in need. This is not only a net benefit for the impoverished, but also for crypto adoption as a whole. On a day five, we've got the PayPal withdrawals. And basically this day saw Coinbase announce that it would allow its US customers to withdraw their balances via PayPal for free. But I had a little issue with this as this was announced sort of unofficially or even officially a few days back. So I don't know why they actually brought it up or maybe I got something confused with. But basically that was PayPal, which was supposed to day five announcement. On the day seven, we've got the USDC. So Coinbase offered a primer on USD coin starting on day seven, providing consumers with pieces of information about the key stable coin. On day number eight, we were given the crypto to crypto. And after much deliberation, the startup finally revealed that it had added for native crypto to crypto support on its consumer-centric platform. Starting early this week, a majority of users across the globe will be able to instantly transact one cryptocurrency to another for a 1% spread. And day number nine actually brought something I thought there would be more of. And on Tuesday, I made a flared market rally. Coinbase Pro suddenly revealed that it will be listing DAI, Maker, uh, Golem, and Zilliqa. And all the aforementioned assets are situated on day three networks and with Coinbase's decision to list these crypto assets likely stemming from the technical ease of implementation and the company has yet to add the aforementioned four tokens to its consumer-centric platform. Actually guys I want to know your opinion what would you guys think of those 12 days of Christmas and would you actually think of the ones that they've been offering of the tokens that they've been adding because it sort of seems like they're going from one extreme to another right now. But let me know your opinions in the comments and we can have a discussion about it. So now we're gonna focus on the bad, or more should I say the disappointing ones. And the first one is the day three announcement over here, a video. And although the video, which highlighted crypto's current and future potential, was well played, it didn't actually provide much of a value proposition for consumers. So I'm not entirely sure why they did this video. It's just to spread the awareness about crypto. But that's not really, that's not really what we'd expected or what they described those 12 days of Coinbase to be as. On a day four, we were given a watch list and I'm actually surprised that Coinbase didn't announce this feature earlier. And so basically that was an announcement made on a day four. The firm revealed that it would allow users to watch cryptocurrencies and track their performance. That's quite boring in my opinion. And um, the day nine, you can earn. So the premise of this announcement was good. Coinbase wanted to allow consumers to learn more about cryptocurrencies. Yet, I've seen many people argue that this idea was executed poorly and in a bad taste. So let me know your opinion, guys, what you think about earning crypto as you watch the videos. Some have argued that Coinbase, which is an 8 billion startup, should have forked out much more through charity. Regardless, 
the collective $25,000 that the firm forked out will have a meaningful impact on the lives of hundreds, if not even thousands. So such a move shouldn't be fully discounted. And now we're gonna go into the ugly bit. And to be quite frank, Coinbase's holiday initiative wasn't ugly. In fact, if you discount the fact that the startup didn't conform to requests from the public like addition of support for your favorite crypto, a cheaper face, etc. 12 Days was likely the most successful holiday-themed sequence of events that has ever blessed the cryptosphere. And this is, of course, due to the fact that 12 Days was the first program of its kind. So for now, I guess we will have to wait until next year to see if Coinbase or one of its competitors can top the crypto fan of 2018 holiday season. So guys, let me know what you think of all of those 12 days announcements. Let me know what you think about those listings that Coinbase recently has been making. Remember to have a joyful time over the Christmas. Say Merry Christmas from all Queen Sarah to all of your family. And remember to follow me on Twitter, all Queen Sarah. I hope you all enjoyed this video and let me know what you'd like me to review next. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.